Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Live With A Purpose. There is one thing that we all will have in common, those of us who love the Lord, and that is that we will be in great joy and happiness forevermore with Him. But not just in the life uh, after this one. We can also experience that in this life. And the Lord is always looking for ways to uh, cheer us up, to give us hope, to let us know that uh, He is not far off and that our time is not wasted. Those of us who are seeking Him and are looking to represent Him well on the earth. So when the Lord had come, the Lord Jesus, uh, it was a surprise to everyone. And uh, they were only praying about this and seeking the Lord for hundreds of years. Then again, people were sinning and people were doing the right thing in some cases and in other cases, most of the other cases, they were not. But the Lord knows why he does what he does. And just like the angel appeared to Zechariah at the temple and told him that uh, his wife was going to bear a son, John the Baptist, in their old age, it was a surprise. It was joyous, yes, but it was a surprise nonetheless. Uh, today, we have something similar to the one who would change the world forever uh, and never look back. In Luke 2, from 5 to 11, in the New International Version, verse 5 to 11 says, He went there to register with Mary, that is Joseph, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. What was this good news of great joy for all the people? That the Messiah, that is the Anointed One, the Deliverer, the one that the Jews were expecting, the ones that people would clamor for but had no idea uh, who He was and who God is because they had their, their own gods. That uh, even in our own hearts and our own minds, we want to be relieved of pain, of suffering, of the things uh, that we see around us, the evil, uh, the chatter, the gossip, the hatred, the bitterness, the wars. And the angel said, it will bring great joy for all the people. All the people that realize what's before them. All the people that love the Lord. All the people that say, yes, I'm wrong. I need a Savior. Will bring great joy to our very lives, to our homes. Will bring peace to your mind, to your heart. And will bring you to a relationship with the God of glory, the Creator Himself. What is this great joy? It is a relationship with Jesus Christ Himself. And uh, during the year, at, uh, in the next few days, we uh, commemorize the uh, the uh, giving birth of the Son of God in Mary. Uh, it was a miraculous thing. It was God Himself coming down to rescue us from ourselves so that we have hope, so that as we get older, we don't have to think, I don't have anything. What is happening with me? I'm just going to die and wither. I'll just be another number. No, I won't, because the Lord knows who I am. And he will bring all those who are his, those who say yes to his good news about Jesus, about his sacrifice on the cross to himself forevermore. Think about this today on Live With a Purpose.